நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் ப்ராட் யூ பை குர்ஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த டமிழ் வீடியோ ஆஃப் அவர் ரெனோண்ட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகாகுரு ஆதித்ய குர்ஜி The link of the original version that is a Tamil video is given in the description box of this video. This is Astrologer Deepa and I am presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. In this video, I am going to explain the planetary position that supports divorce and second marriage. And I am also going to explain how the Saturn transit that is Sade Sathi will function during its period. There will be many questions by the students and I'm going to clarify the doubts of my students. Please make a note of it clearly and try to memorize this point. When one is undergoing Sade Sati, the natal chart of a person will just freeze. In other words, during Sade Sati, the natal chart will not function at all. These are natal charts of a couple. Chart A is the natal chart of the husband and chart B is the natal chart of the wife. The husband is undergoing Janma Shani. This is one of the most important rules in Vedic astrology. Today in Vin TV live program a question was asked. You all know that I make live programs in Vin TV. I believe even 2 months before a father asked a question during the live program whether he will get a son back who absconded 4 months before He was in deep agony and he asked whether he would get back a son or not The next question I asked is whether anybody from his family is Sagittarius Rashi And many people praised me for asking such a question because i was too spontaneous where everybody admired my prediction skills in the live program i asked the question and when it was published as a video i could see a lot of positive comments his father told me that his son was 17 years old and he absconded a uh, four months before and still he hasn't come back to home and he does not know the whereabouts of his son and the father wanted to know when his son will come back giving the natal chart of his son to me i did not even look deeply into the natal chart of his son rather i spontaneously asked a question who was undergoing sade sati period in his family and i also added a question whether there is anybody who is sagittarius rashi His father responded that he is the native of Sagittarius Rashi. That is he himself is the native of Sagittarius Rashi. Then I predicted that his son will come back after a year. What is the reason? It is nothing but the Sade Sati period that he was undergoing will end over by that time and as a result his son will come back. And in today's live program of Vin TV a lady was crying and asking me a question. She told that 5 months before her spouse committed suicide. It was such a sorrowful moment to hear her. She said that 5 months before her husband committed suicide and he died. She added that her life has been full of challenges, a block of hurdles. And she gave the natal chart of her husband who is just 30 years old what would be the rashi of that guy do you have any guesses don't hesitate to tell the answers even if it is wrong you should be bold enough so to say your answer loudly yes you guys are correct the guy was sagittarius rashi and what could be the nakshatra of that guy yes you guys are correct he is sagittarius rashi and moola nakshatra I am picking these points to explain the natal chart. What is the Rashi of this natal chart? The guy, that is the husband, is a native of Sagittarius Rashi. What is the age of this natal? He is 30 years old. I made a point that any person who is less than 40 years of age and is of Sagittarius Rashi is not living a good life. If any native of Sagittarius Rashi is living a good life then astrology cannot be true. 
Any native who is less than 40 years of age and is of Sagittarius Rashi will not definitely live a good life. They will have definitely great challenges according to their status and according to their age. And do you know which Rashi is Mr. Rahul Gandhi? Our YouTube subscribers and Facebook subscribers wrote in their comments that Mr. Rahul Gandhi was undergoing Sade Sati period. I was about to make a point that Mr. Rahul Gandhi is the native of Sagittarius Rashi. But before that, our YouTube subscribers and Facebook subscribers wrote in their comments that Mr. Rahul Gandhi is native of Sagittarius Rashi and has been undergoing Sade Sati period. Yes, Mr. Rahul Gandhi is also Sagittarius Rashi and Mula Nakshatra. The role of Vedic astrology is that while one undergoes Sade Sati period, the whole natal chart gets freezed. This can be proven 100% in every natal chart. Any rationalist or aspiring astrologer who opposes our convention of prediction can be proven wrong by this fact of Vedic astrology. There are many people who say that there is no such concept as Sade Sati or Gochara. I really feel pity for such people being an astrologer. I can't help them anymore. The natal chart will not work when a person is undergoing a severe Sade Sati period. This is a fact. Because Saturn takes over all the planets in the natal chart. This native, I mean the chart A, got divorced. And I will explain a very important point, a psychological point as the reason for divorce. Why are divorces happening? What is the important reason for the divorce of a couple? In most cases, ego plays a key role in divorce. The second may be the intrusion of the parents. That too, ego plays a key role. The very basic reason for a couple's divorce is ego. The next possible reason could be the state of inability. There are thousand meanings behind the term inability. Yes, when I say the term inability, there are many meanings behind it. The inability comes in various forms. It might be the inability of a man to serve as a husband or inability to satisfy the physical needs of the wife, inability to control the mind, inability to satiate the spouse on financial terms. We can go on listing these inabilities. The first and foremost is the ego. It is only during this Sade Sati period the Saturn will make the native understand the spouse whether it is husband or wife. Forget about who the native is. I have taken this natal chart for research purpose. The native who is a guy will understand what a lady is. And the native who is a girl will understand what a guy is. That is, each other will know the true colors during the Sade Sati period. If a guy undergoes the Sade Sati period, he will understand the true character of his spouse. There is a small friction because of the ego that can lead to divorce and moreover, the planets support divorce in this natal chart. Being a professional astrologer, I would like to tell you something. During your profession, the clients who approach you will be undergoing either Sade Sati period or Ashtama Shani. Even if the native was not undergoing Sade Sati or Ashtama Shani, definitely one of the family members will be undergoing either Sade Sati or Ashtama Shani. A person will approach you for consultation if only he or she is personally undergoing Sade Sati or Ashtama Shani or if any one of the family members is undergoing Sade Sati or Ashtama Shani. Especially when a person or his family member is undergoing Janma Shani, the person will approach you for a consultation. 
I will definitely say 2015, 2016 and 2017. If any of you are Mesha Rashi or Scorpio Rashi or if any of your family members is Mesha Rashi or Vrishik Rashi, then it means that you were in great trouble. This applies to anybody who is Aries Rashi or Vrishik Rashi or if their family members are Aries Rashi or Vrishik Rashi. I will definitely say you did not live a good life or your life was miserable during 2015, 2016 and 2017, especially during Janmashani. Is there anyone who can claim that they lived a happy life? Among you guys, 10 of you raised your hand agreeing with my point that your life was not good during 2015, 2016 and 2017. But are there any exceptions here? Is there anybody who can disagree with my point? Is there anybody who can claim that during Sade Sati period they earned crores of money, they got an excellent job, etc.? If any of you or Mesha Rashi or Vrishik Rashi or if any of your family members such as let me say your parents, your children or your spouse or Mesha Rashi or Vrishik Rashi, then your life was not good during that time. This is the fact that can challenge the rationalist, that can challenge the disbelievers of astrology. Because this applies even to the family members of the rationalist or to the rationalist himself. This rule will definitely never change. And during 2018, 2019 and 2020, the native of Sagittarius Rashi was not living a good life. I always say that when a severe Janma Shani was going on, the natal chart almost freezes. It is not an easy task to find the future of the person. Is it easy like you are buying a carton of popcorn in the theatre and enjoying it? No. It is not an easy task. Well, one of my students asked whether the grief given by Sade Sati will be less or more. Sir, what do you mean by the term less effects or more effects? Well, he asked me whether the suffering of the person will be less or more during Sade Sati. Well, to answer your question, the more impact or less impact is based on the planets in the natal chart. Definitely Sade Sati will have its own effect. Even Rahul Gandhi underwent Sade Sati. But this period, the Sade Sati period did not bring Rahul Gandhi to the poorest level. You are actually getting diverted from the topic. Well, you can ask all your doubts and I'm here to clarify your doubts. And Please don't bring the concept of Ashtavarga Bindu in order to gauge the effects of Sade Sati, whether it is more or less. Please check out the planets in the natal chart. Now let me explain the very same natal chart of the ex-chief minister Mr. Karnanidhi and even the ex-chief minister Ms. JJ Lalita. Both the ex-chief ministers of Tamil Nadu Mr. Karnanidhi and Ms. Jay Lalita underwent Sade Sati period in their life. And what happened during Sade Sati? After the Sade Sati period, neither Mr. Karnanidhi nor Ms. Jailalita went for menial jobs. Their status in general remained the same. The Sade Sati period did not bring these ex-chief ministers of Tamil Nadu down to the poorest level. But does anybody know what happened during Sade Sati period or Ashtamashani uh, to the ex-chief ministers Mr. Karnanidhi and Ms. Jailalita? Yes, they lost votes in the election. They did not win the election. They lost the votes in the election. You don't need to bring the concept of Ashtavarga Bindu in order to gauge the Sade Sati period. When you have to make predictions based on the Gochara, Ashtavarga Bindu gets more important. 
based on the gochara mercury will deliver its benefits if only it is posited in second house fifth house eighth house or eleventh house this is the prediction of gochara saturn rahu and ketu will deliver benefits when they are posited in third house or sixth house or eleventh house in gochara let us not touch this subject now many people have taught about this and there are many books regarding this as well you can very well read them how do you decide whether the sade sati effects or more or less its impact is more or less a beggar who was undergoing sade sati period will not have the same experience as a richest man was undergoing sade sati period saturn will deliver its effects based on the status family of the person if the person is a big vip the sade sati will deliver its effects based on the planets in the natal chart i am not agreeing with the term more or less rather i want to frame the sentence as saturn will deliver its effects during sade sati and definitely its impact is based on the planets in the natal chart and based especially regarding the status of the person based on age based on experience and based on status saturn is going to function i'm actually repeating the examples of natal charts of mr karnanidhi and ms jayalalitha because these are the people who are known to everybody they are vips of the recent time both mr karnanidhi and ms jayalalitha lost an election during ashtama shani i have written about these events in my articles i hope you have already read it during sade sati or ashtama shani this happened well one of my student has a question he says that he knows a person who got promotion during sade sati period and he asks how it is possible how does this happen one cannot get a promotion or cannot get a happy life during sade sati and you are asking the question since i mentioned a term that one cannot get promotion or one cannot get any upliftment in the life during sade sati period well what is the effect of sade sati period it is to give mental pressure just for proof let me explain something the very same time next year you ask your friend who got promotion that how his life is definitely he will say that he regrets it why he got a promotion because they will be definitely undergoing such mental pressure because of the promotion they got it does not mean that when one get a promotion or when one get a salary hike it doesn't mean that they are living a happy life do you agree with this point or not from your perception when somebody gets a promotion in their office you are considering it as an auspicious event but from the perception of the person who got promotion who is undergoing sade sati getting a promotion is not an auspicious event because it is going to bring mental pressure in future because sade sati's responsibility is to give mental pressure to the native the mental pressure will be given as a consequence of promotion those who got a promotion do not need to enjoy their promotion there are many people who regret why they got promotion secondly based on the natal chart the events happen let me put it in another way saturn will affect the area to which you are attached very closely suppose if you are closely attached to your family it will bring mental pressure through the family suppose if you are closely attached to upliftment in the professional life then it will bring mental pressure through the professional life 
so to whichever area you are personally close to something which may differ from person to person saturn will affect that particular area let me share my own experience i am mola nakshatra and i am also sagittarius rashi i have crossed my 50 years of age sade sate will affect a person based on their age let me tell you how sade sate worked in my life 30 years ago i share a lot of points based on my experience i have crossed many events in my life and i can share some points some experience to you so that you can understand how sade sate works it is a very important duty of an astrologer to research his own natal chart first of all having said this i am not an exception and i have researched my own natal chart a lot during my initial stages of my profession my research and i really don't hesitate to share some personal experiences of my life because it will help you it will help you to understand how sade sati works you are all my students i really want to get you enlightened about how sade sati really works i am mola nakshatra and i am sagittarius rashi almost 4 months after 1988 september 6 my life was miserable during those 4 months i was weeping and weeping throughout the day and night at midnight when i used to go to restroom my father used to follow me to ensure that no mishap happens i hope you understand what i mean to say any guesses about the reason for such a miserable moment <laughs> yes my student says the reason is love i have no hesitation in expressing all this because after all you are my students and i want to share my experience i had a love failure 30 years ago it happened you can very well find that even now i remember the date you can understand that how much i would have been affected at that moment it was 1988 september 6 do you think will i cry a lot because of love failures at this age <laughs> no i was continuously crying for almost 4 to 5 months since 1988 september 6 my father or even my mother used to follow me whenever i went to restroom to watch closely to ensure nothing bad happens to me they were really afraid whether i would commit suicide they were so afraid anxious concerned because i was in such a mental state hope you can understand from the activity of my parents how much i was affected because saturn was traversing across mula nakshatra when i suffered the most because of the love failure i was 23 years old at that time so based on age saturn delivers its harmful effects you imagine not only i underwent a tough period my parents also underwent a tough period because i was the one who was undergoing sade sati but saturn affected my family members that is my parents as well saturn knows the most vulnerable point of a person it knows to tap something that will hit the person very badly it knows the area to affect by which a person will suffer the worst so you have to find from the natal chart find from the person what they like the most or which can bring the worst events in their life even now saturn is traversing across mula nakshatra for me since last october when saturn started to traverse my face got darkened because of the hair dye i used and i'm going to get rid of this problem because from november 23 saturn will come out of the mula nakshatra i have met a lot of doctors and many doctors who are experts are my clients 
when the dermatologists who are very close to me assured me that they will cure my skin disease within 3 months i told it is not going to happen it is going to take more than a year if only saturn finishes crossing the mola nakshatra that is when it passes to the next nakshatra my face will retain its own state if only an event happens the face gets darkened i am not telling this at a superficial level that is at skin level in reality the face will go dark when a sickening event happens in tamil we say mugam karuthu vittathu it means it is an indication of something going wrong around the person even in tamil we use another phrase called mugathila kari poosita which literally means he made the face dark or black to describe the disappointment so all these events happen based on the major planetary period and minor planetary period of the planets in the natal chart and based on the major planetary period and minor planetary period of the planets that i undergo right now my face literally got darkened i will definitely say any native whose janma nakshatra is mola nakshatra is not living a good life based on their age they face a lot of challenges the same did not happen before 30 years when i was very young saturn gave me a girl to me in my life and it brought mental pressure because of the love failure see how smart the saturn is it knows what can bring mental pressure to the worst level 20 years is not a age where we will be much concerned about our profession so saturn very well knows which area should be affected in a person's life to bring the worst mental pressure if i recall that moment now i really laugh at that moment i and even that girl living a very good life now when i recall that moment it looks so funny to me i couldn't even believe that i was the person who was weeping at that moment so sade sati will deliver its effects based on the age status of the person to explain the question regarding promotion i explained all these whichever you like the most will get affected during sade sati or whichever event can toss your life will happen during sade sati Today in Win TV live program I responded regarding a 13 year old boy who is mola nakshatra who is undergoing a great mental pressure what will be the challenge that the 13 year old boy will be facing what he will love the most the 13 year old boy will love his father love his mother maybe he likes the school will he like promotion So when I hear that thirteen-year-old child is going through mental pressure, we have to identify the causes according to their age. Let me tell you another example. This is my neighbor who resides in my opposite house. In my flat, there are three neighbors who are Kete Nakshatra, and there is a neighbor who is fifty years old who is residing in the opposite flat. He left his home on a scooter and after some time I saw Shamiana in front of his house and when I inquired they said he expired we had never spoken to each other we just pass a smile when we cross each other in our vehicles it is a culture of madras that we don't know even our neighbors much only on the date of his death i came to know that he was admitted in the hospital before a month because of an accident You know we are now in a very fast living world and we don't know what happens even to our neighbors and many people out there who does not know even what happens to their parents what happens to their family members I came to know that he was owning a car and he got into an accident and he was admitted in Apollo hospital for 40 days and he was back home after his discharge from the hospital and few days later he died So immediately I asked a question to his family member what question would I have asked yes immediately I asked if there is anybody in his family who 
who is Ketai Nakshatra. That is how my astrology mind works. I asked if there is any family member who is Ketai Nakshatra. They told his son is Ketai Nakshatra. You can prove all these points to your clients. The spontaneous question I asked is who is Ketai Nakshatra in your home? After coming to know that I inquired about whether there is anybody born as Kete Nakshatra in their family, the wife of the person who died came to my office after two months. She said that her husband used to watch my programs on the television and I told her that I had never spoken to him except just passing a smile. This happened last year and he was below 50 years. His son is almost recovering from the mental pressure owing to his father's demise. His son daily sits before the photo of his father and weeps about why his father left them. So is not true what Sade Sati does during this period? And today I am talking about Mula Nakshatra, not Kete Nakshatra, that is Jeshta Nakshatra. But you shouldn't ask me whether the father of all the Mula Nakshatra suffered the same way. No, you are not supposed to ask such a question. It doesn't make sense. This question is not correct at all. Astrology is a combination of lots of rules and exceptions. It is like a chessboard. There are a total of 64 squares on the chessboard and we use 32 chess pieces. You see, the numbers are definite. We can make a software with these 64 squares multiplied by 32 chess pieces, can we? Since the number of elements involved in the game is finite, the rules also can be finite. The rules have an end, it is not endless. Chess is a game where the moves are defined and determined easily. The rules are definite. But in astrology, there is a combination of lots of rules and exceptions. There are 32 crores of rules, combinations and exceptions. Astrology is a game where the rules are infinite. What is the reason? Because it reflects. It is all about the life of the people. The elements involved in the life of the people is indefinite, huge combinations. It is not that easy to define it. Do you understand now? There is a lot of combinations in this universe. So as is astrology. This universe consists of many worlds, many planets, many stars. It is huge. The combinations are also in multiplies. So somebody asked whether they will get a promotion during Sade Sati. If this promotion is going to give some mental pressure to the natal, then Sade Sati will deliver it. Because all the duty of Sade Sati is to give you mental pressure. Whichever you like the most in your life will be affected during Sade Sati. I wrote about this in an article Malai Malar. On seeing that a person approached me who came from Dindakal. In order to explain how Sade Sati is very crucial, I share this experience. He gave the natal chart of his son and was looking anxiously at my face. In general, my clients don't convey their queries because they totally believe me that I can find all those up front and I can make the best predictions for them. They have such a huge trust over us and they approach us. This will happen to you also in the future. The parents approached me with a natal chart of their 18-year-old son. I told them that the time was not been good since March and it should be a very tough time for them. Immediately they started crying. With uncontrollable tears, they finally opened up and said that their son died in the month of April. I did not mention that their son died after March, rather I said it was a tough time for them. In order to find that what happened exactly, we have to check whether it is Antar Dasha of Padakadipadi or Dasha of Marakadipadi etc. I mentioned that 
the time was not working well since the month of march and they told me their son expired um, around the month of may on some particular date they added that they came from dindigal it seems they have come to anna university for the purpose of counseling as they finished his higher secondary studies and they got counseling in the college they requested the counseling time seemed to be over by 3 pm they were supposed to go back to their town and since there was enough time for the arrival of that particular bus their son expressed his interest to go to marina beach these parents and their only son they don't have any other children their only son went to marina beach their son was playing at knee level sea water and he did not know swimming they have the photo of their son on their mobile phone and i saw it i could not believe him as 18 years old rather he looked like 20 years old very very fit handsome young guy he was giving a pose extending his hands like jesus and standing before the marina beach in front of the eyes of his parents a big tide splashed on his face which made him totally lose his balance and in no time a second big tide pulled him towards the sea the parents were totally helpless they were just shouting dear son dear son this event makes each one of us sorrowful and imagine how much pain i would have gone through when i heard their experience in person it was an inconsolable moment this happened 2 years before the parents lost their son in front of their eyes it seems they haven't got even his body they do not know whether he still lives somewhere or not well now let us come back to the astrology point now tell me what rashi both the parents yes they are mesh rashi and vrishik rashi i shared this experience in order to make you understand what sade sati does when you become a professional astrologer like me you will come across a lot of sorrowful incidents from many people you would have heard about news and also you would have seen the news in the newspaper that 4 months ago a 15 year old young boy died during swimming training in velacheri chennai at least 10 people would have definitely read it his parents also approached me he is not an amateur he is already a very good swimmer he seemed to have reported a back pain while he was swimming to the coach and immediately he died and just 4 months before the before this incident the mother of the son died the mother who was very very healthy was diagnosed with a challenging disease and just 20 days after diagnosis she died just 20 days after diagnosis and this boy who died was very very affectionate towards his mother the boy who died was cancer rashi the native of cancer rashi and taurus rashi are very very affectionate towards their mother it is a rule that never changes because of the karaga and this moon is very badly affected in the natal chart the native of taurus rashi and Ka- cancer rashi will have great affection towards their mother it would have definitely been a huge shock for this 15 year old kid when his mother died just in 20 days of sickness even as if his mother was bedridden for a few months or few weeks and then she died his mind would have prepared for it this kid also used to weep in front of the photo of her mother why she left him just 4 months after the death of the mother he too died he has one sister now coming to the point of astrology what rashi this sister will be yes this girl is ketai nakshatra that is jeshta nakshatra and vrishik rashi the girl who lost both her mother and her brother within 6 months is ketai nakshatra that is jeshta nakshatra and vrishik rashi who was 17 years old then 
now let me come to the point of less or more impact which was your question in these natal charts with these persons we see the loss of family members in their families some people will lose their respect during sade sati or they will face loss of properties or they will undergo severe mental pressure the objective of sade sati is very very simple it is to give mental pressure it varies from natal chart to natal chart based on the planets in the natal chart based on the dasha one undergoes sade sati will give more or less impact in their life when a native is undergoing sade sati the dasha of 6th house lord or the 8th house lord should not happen if it happens the loss will be very very severe based on the planets in the natal chart and gochara sade sati will have impacts i have mentioned another point in my articles that when in natal chart and gochara when a shadowy planet is posited in a particular house then you will be greatly impacted by that house this is the way you have to gauge the impact of sade sati whether it is more or less and you don't need to bring the concept of ashtavarga bindu here we will definitely dedicate a video for ashtavarga bindu on some other day but whatever i share now will definitely make you understand another dimension of astrological concepts you know what i'm doing is like i have studied everything and i'm sharing what is necessary to make a particular prediction you would have come across certain school teachers in your school time or the professors or lecturers during college time who would suggest you to avoid certain portions for the exam and insist to concentrate on certain topics have you come across such teachers i'm such a teacher who has researched in this field for 30 to 40 years and i have learned from many many natal charts and from my experience i'm highlighting certain concepts to choose based on the criteria indeed you cannot get rid of any concept in astrology but what is your objective based on the objective you are using or you are choosing the significant concepts for the predictions you should select the significant concepts in order to make the predictions and i have never said anything that is unnecessary or less significant so far for the prediction of sade sati therefore everything is equally important in astrology no doubts about it when sade sati starts in the life of a person it really makes other planets inactive well you too have to undergo sade sati in your life you are all human beings you analyze your own natal chart or the natal charts of the family members not very distant relatives rather the ones who are very close to you like your wife or your husband your children your mother your sister or your brother your in-laws when they have undergone the sade sati period definitely you too would have gone a very difficult period if you contemplate you will realize that whenever your closest family member is undergoing sade sati period you too have to undergo the toughest period during sade sati period saturn delivers loss of family members or it can invoke shame or humiliation and finally it will make you understand the life better based on this concept this guy the husband is in the process of divorcing his wife now let us come to this natal chart and i'll give you 2 minutes please make your own analysis and let me know then i will explain the natal chart you don't need to worry about whether you are giving the correct reasons or not suppose if all your predictions and reasons are correct i have no job to explain this natal chart i will take you to the next lesson 
well one of my students says that in this natal chart of the husband saturn who is the lord of eighth house is in conjunction with moon well this is the first point i get for the native of gemini ascendant don't bring the point of saturn being ashtamadipadi that is lord of eighth house of course technically for the native of gemini ascendant saturn is the lord of the eighth house but for the native of gemini ascendant saturn is also the lord of mool trikon house which is aquarius for the native of cancer ascendant the situation is different because for the native of cancer ascendant saturn is the lord of 7th and 8th house and not the lord of any auspicious house remember aquarius is the mool trikon house of the saturn well what you have to note here is based on bhavat bhavam concepts i told that if a planet is in the 6th house or 8th house or 12th house to its own house it will not deliver the house effects of that particular house and in this natal chart as per bhavat bhavam saturn which is the lord of the 8th house is in the 12th house to the capricorn so saturn will not deliver the 8th house effects in this natal chart saturn is in the 12th house to the 8th house of the ascendant which is capricorn i'm not discouraging you please go ahead with other points well one of my students recalls an old tamil poem please don't bring these tamil poems to my class i will never agree to the tamil poems I don't say that these poems are totally senseless. You are perceiving most of the time in a different way. There are a total of sixty thousand Tamil poems of astrology, and each poem represents the natal chart of an individual. See, these days there are a lot of futilities like computer, mobile phones, even uh, you know paper where we can store the data. but in olden days it was not possible to store huge amounts of data so when some data is given in a rhyming way as a poem it is easy to remember it is easy to memorize the data when it is given in form of a poem why many natal charts are represented in a poetical form because our tradition is like memorizing everything rather storing it in the written form and acharya in those days expressed verbally and the student was supposed to memorize it without any help of paper or any other form of storage it is easy when something was said as a song or a poem with all the rhyming words the objective of all the astrological tamil poems functions like this don't try to misunderstand its objective each poem is a natal chart of an individual so if you give importance to these points you will get diverted well in this natal chart the lord of the 7th house is in the 6th house to its own house and it is also in the 12th house to the ascendant it is such a good point yes and in the 7th house to the lagna saturn resides well this is the point don't bring the point that ashtamadipadi resides in sagittarius and it is in conjunction with moon instead you can bring the point that saturn is residing in the 7th house to the ascendant saturn is always a saturn even if it is ascendant lord or lord of 8th house or lord of 6th house or lord of 12th house well now the next point is saturn resides in 7th house and saturn aspects the 7th house to the rashi and venus in this chart is debilitated yes you are right it is debilitated initially and then it gets parivartan what you said is correct and the lord of second house cancer which is moon is in the 6th house to its own house cancer all these indicate the nature of the first marriage yes very well said One of my students says that the Lord of the Eighth House, Saturn, got Digbala. Anyway, you have to know that as per Bhavat Bhavam, Mars is in the twelfth house to the own house Aries, 
which is the eleventh house to the ascendant. When we check the position of Saturn, we already say, as per Bhavad Bhavam, the eighth house Lord is in the twelfth house to the eighth house, so it will not deliver the eighth house effects. In the similar fashion, the eleventh house Lord is in the twelfth house to the eleventh house, that is Aries. So it is not supposed to do the eleventh house effect, correct? There is a subtlety here that can deliver the eleventh house effect. What is that? Yes, you guys are correct. It is Dig Bala. I always reiterate a point that when a malefic planet gets more strength when it is Dig Bala rather than when it is exalted or in its own house. Thus, it will deliver good effects when it has got Dig Bala rather than it is exalted or when it has its own house status. So here, when the 11th house Lord resides in the 12th house to the 11th house, which is the 10th house to the ascendant, Mars gets directional strength, that is Digbala. The concept is, when the 7th house Lord and the 7th house is weak, and the 11th house Lord is stronger than these two, then definitely they will have a second marriage. This logic will apply to other houses as well. For example, if the 10th house lord is stronger than the 6th house, then they will have their own business. In case if the 6th house lord is stronger than the 10th house, then they will serve as a professional. They have to serve others. If the 6th house lord is stronger than the ascendant, then the native will suffer from diseases. So when you compare the houses, you can make excellent predictions. This is traditional Vedic astrology. This is how we make predictions in the conventional system. The KP system is different. If only you learn it to the extent that you can find out the pros and cons of the KP system, you will understand what sort of setbacks it has. Well, let me not divert from the topic. This is how you have to predict Sade Sati and the second marriage from a person's natal chart. Well, in my next video, let me come up with a new topic and please write your comments in the comment section. The link for the Tamil YouTube video is given in the description box. And keep writing your feedback to astro.writeus at gmail.com. Thank you.